We can. So too has Craig Bellamy for City. We'll hear which Premier League club is chasing him now. Plus, Sir Alex Ferguson tells us why Chelsea are favourites to win the Premier League. And Fabio Capello shuts the door on any chance of a competitive return for David Beckham. Details coming up. Welcome to a really busy day here on Sky Sports News. Let's start with the breaking transfer news at Manchester City. Mario Balotelli, James Milner, Craig Bellamy all involved in it. Let's speak to Fraser Dainton, who's been speaking to Roberto Mancini. It was absolutely brilliant, Fraser. Not sure where to start, in truth. Let's start where Mancini started. Balotelli, what's the latest? Now, Mario Balotelli is close to signing, according to Roberto Mancini. Now, Balotelli arrived this morning around about 9.45 a.m. in on a private jet uh, into Manchester Airport. Uh, he uh, came in from Milan earlier this morning, along with his agent, obviously, to talk terms as far as sourcing a deal out is concerned for Manchester City. It was quickly picked up from Manchester, City's, uh, from Manchester Airport in a uh, silver Mercedes van, which is one that... Manchester City often used to ferry players around and it was straight to the Bridgewater Hospital, one of the local hospitals in Manchester where we often see uh, many a player going for their medical. It was uh, thumbs up to the cameras as he uh, arrived in the centre of Manchester and all being well, we would expect uh, Mario Balotelli to become Roberto Mancini's fifth signing of the summer. The 20-year-old striker costing in the region, we understand, of £24 million, but uh, Mancini expecting that. Uh, to happen very, very quickly. Yeah, you say very quickly. What did Mancini say about the timings on this one? Well, he uh, confirmed that he was definitely on his way. Uh, he's often quite cagey about these sorts of things, but uh, by that point, we knew that he was uh, already in Manchester. But he says he's very, very hopeful uh, that the deal may go forward today, or if not, tomorrow. We are, uh, we are close to him. I, I hope that today or tomorrow we can we can close this this deal but we understand he's on his way here to manchester is that right yeah <laughs> probably <laughs> so maybe today maybe tomorrow yeah, yeah to today finish. or tomorrow i think that's finished that was good to get out of him fraser what did he say about james milner well he said on that one they're going to have to be a little more patient we obviously have the complications now of Stephen island uh, being part of a make-weight deal uh, in this uh, possible transfer. Now, the rumours that are coming out are saying that Stephen Ireland wants £2 million from Manchester City as a sweetener uh, in order to leave Manchester City and go to Aston Villa. So, as far as that one's concerned, uh, Mancini was uh, dismissing any sort of ideas that he knew what was going on in terms of the ins and outs of this alleged £2 million that's uh, knocking around. Uh, but as far as he's concerned, he's still very, very confident that that deal will go through. I think that we must be patient for this. Uh, I think another other days, but we will see after Tottenham games. Is it still because of Stephen Ireland? Yeah, I think that when you, you do a, you must do a, a deal, you have a, everything must go must go in good way for 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 everybody. I think that we must. Uh, I think that we need uh, other two or three days for, for this situation. And uh, because I think that is uh, the right uh, that uh, for everybody, everything can go, go well. Now, earlier today, Fraser, Mark Hughes came out and said he was interested in potentially signing Craig Bellamy. What did Mancini say about his future? He says there is no future by the looks of things for Craig Bellamy at Manchester City. He revealed that he's uh, submitted his 25-man uh, list as far as the squads have to be concerned uh, to the Premier League. And Craig Bellamy is not on that 25-man list. Interestingly, Rubinho is. Now, Rubinho only came back yesterday uh, from his international duty. He'll probably train with the squad today, but he said he won't uh, probably discuss his future with Manchester City until next week. But as far as Craig Bellamy is concerned, it looks as though he will have to find football elsewhere. I put on the list 25 players. The other players uh, will be out. Uh, probably must uh, do another, another choice, another team. So Craig Bellamy does not have a future here for you? No, Greg is uh, out of the list. And 
And what, what did you think about some of the things that he said in a, an interview earlier this week? It's not important for me because it is a, it's false. Because I, I, I work with the players every day, I speak with the players every day. And Greg played always with me last year, always. So many other things to ask you about. Transfers, goalkeepers, what other business then, Fraser? There were so many things to talk about today, it was unbelievable, like a huge long list of questions. Uh, in terms of other transfers and possibilities of uh, players coming in, he's dismissed rumours uh, linking Manchester City with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the Barcelona striker, uh, and rumours that he would be paid something in the region of half a million pounds a week, would you believe? Uh, also, that's the case as far as David Luiz is concerned over at uh, Benfica, the centre-back, so he was saying that as far as he was concerned, uh, once they managed to do the uh, deals with uh, Balotelli and Milne, he said that would probably be it as far as his summer spending was concerned. The other big issue, of course, is goalkeepers. So Shea Given and Joe Hart both wanting to prolong their international careers. Joe Hart, of course, uh, really wanted to start his international career and both would need to be playing regular football. And he said at the moment he still hasn't made a decision, can you believe? Less than 24 hours uh, before the game against Spurs at the weekend and he still has to talk to both keepers and make a decision on who will be his number one. So I think it may well go down to the wire as far as that one is concerned right until we get the team sheet at White Hart Lane tomorrow. Yeah, the live game, of course. Fraser, thanks very much indeed. At the other end of the field, look at these striking options next season at the moment uh, for Roberto Mancini. A huge amount of money these guys have cost. 18 million spent on Joe, eclipsed by 32.4 million on Rubinho, who we heard is back, tired, but on the list of 25 players for Manchester City. Roque Santa Cruz cost 18 million. Emmanuel Adebayor, 25. Carlos Tevez, just more than that. If the reported figure of 24 million for Balotelli is correct, that means they will have 142.9 million pounds worth of striking talent at their disposal. Goodness. And that's not including, of course, Craig Bellamy, who cost 14 million. He's not in the 25, as we were just hearing. So much happening at Manchester City, and only a day to go before the Premier League starts. Their match against Tottenham, White Hart Lane. What a start this is going to be. You can see it live, midday, Sky Sports HD 2 and 2, and that's going to be exciting. Just